So the 40 volt miles are here. Do you want to hear me talk about it or do you want to see it in action? That's what I thought. Okay, so the setup today. Okay, so the setup today. I don't know if you can hear me. It's a little bit windy, but we have the 530 millimeter mower up there, 534. And over to my left, being photographed, we have the 480. So this area of grass here, we're gonna mow a few hundred, a few hundred, a few thousand square meters today, and we're gonna see how long these things last for. Each one of them has two 8 amp hour batteries in it, and there's three of us here. We're gonna run two of the mowers at once. So we'll run them backwards and forwards here until we meet in the middle, and then we'll see how much battery life they've got left, and then we'll, we'll just keep going, see how many square meters we can get and how long it takes. satellite in the end but so the batteries are one battery still full look at that and the other one two bars so that is pretty impressive so you know is that a quarter of what it's gonna do well we'll find out I've been using the 480 mil as you can see the other person in the video was using the 534 or the LM 001 G on the left 480 and the LM002G on the right. Now, there is a bit more grass about the place. So we're gonna go until we run out of batteries. Might not all be on camera, but that's what we're gonna do. We've got enough cameras there. We've got four cameras here today. So we'll just have a quick drink break and we'll get stuck back into it again. Let's take a look at the controls now. If we have a look here, we have mode and a power button. Turn on the power. Right, green light comes on. Might be a bit hard to see, it's awfully sunny. We've got a red button on the side here, a red lever, that is what controls your blade, and this is what controls your speed. So you don't need the blade turning to self propel it. As you can see, she moves pretty quick. Control lever on the left for the speed of that, but when you want to start up the mower, going to be a bit tricky because I'm holding the camera so you need to push the red button in pull the red button in. pretty quiet it's not even in the quiet mode let's try it in the quiet mode you don't need earmuffs in this thing although it's always a good idea to wear earmuffs because then you can listen to music provided you've got the right earmuffs the front light here is in auto mode so it will adjust. Starts off pretty quiet. When you get into some heavy stuff, it'll ramp up the RPMs on you. This lawn's already pretty well mowed, but let's just go over here. See if I can do this one-handed. When it was a bit thicker, it ramped up. When it eased off in the thickness of grass, it eased off in the thickness of RPMs. Thickness of RPMs. So far, most of my testing, I have done it with full speed. All the shots you've seen, full speed. Full speed on the self propel to, to try and drain these batteries and full grunt on the spinning of the blade. And it's pretty darn good.
you got 10 settings for the height, the lowest being 20 millimeters and the highest being 100. Now they come standard with a mulch plug, a side chute and a catcher. I find the catcher works really well with long grass as does just running it without the catcher. The mulch plug and the side chute tend to clog up a bit if you're doing it on thick grass. They're designed for well-maintained lawns that are mowed on a regular basis. If you've gotten too out of control, leave those aside, cut it without the, the plugs in, and then do it again next time when you've got it a bit lower. Because unfortunately, being self-propelled, we've got a motor behind here to run this thing, to drive these wheels, so it reduces the amount of area for the grass to shoot out. So it's only sort of half width, basically. If this was fully open, it would fire out a lot more grass and that would make it less inclined to clog. Now I haven't timed how long the power stays on, but it doesn't time out quickly, that's for sure. You can go off and you catch uh, that sort of stuff and come back and it'll still be going. Just push the red button again, and then pull the rear handle and you'll be cutting. You've got two different heights for the handle which is easily adjustable with these fancy little knobs. You can just turn them and pop them out and then turn them back, lower the handle. The handle also completely folds over as you can see which means you can store it standing on its back. And it doesn't take up a lot of room when it's standing on its end. quick look at the underside of the mower here it's your motor at the back for your self propelled function that's why you've got that chute that can only sort of go out half of it it's a steel deck and it comes standard in New Zealand with just one of these single bar blades but there are other options available you can get a four blade swing back blade which I was hoping to have tested in this video but planets did not align so if you were doing really rough stuff all the time you might want to invest in a different blade for suburban gardens this one will do just fine Now the self-propel function is not only quick, but you don't need to have the blade spinning for it to work. It's just super easy. Push the bar on the back and off she goes. <laughs> that was too quick for me to even keep up with. Let's turn it down and try that again. Eh? You can of course just push it around manually like I am now. It's fairly light for doing that sort of thing, easy to maneuver. But here we go, just very, very cool. So that's the slowest speed, and the first one you saw was the fastest.
And if you don't like wearing earmuffs, then this is the mower for you because it's super quiet. It's so nice to use on the ears. It's much better than the traffic around here. The RPMs of each model are slightly different with the slow, quiet mode on the 480, the one that's currently in shot, 2,500, and on the high speed mode, 3,200, whereas the LM002G, the 534mm wide one, the numbers are 2,300 for the quiet mode and 2,800 for the standard go for it mode. And it may just be that extra RPM that to me makes this one feel just a little bit a little bit better. It doesn't have to cut as much, so it doesn't have to fire so much out the back. Whereas the 534 has got that extra couple of inches of cut, so it's got to fire a lot more stuff out the back. Now most of what you've seen in this video is cutting kaikuya, which is very common here in New Zealand and it's a very thick dense grass and it really makes mowers work hard, especially when you get down low into the thick bed of it at the bottom, it can be real spongy and thick. Um, and the mower's done pretty damn good through it. Uh, as you will have seen, all the stuff so far, all been through pretty thick stuff. So I mean this is pretty tall here, we're talking a couple of hundred millimeters tall just here. So you can get about a thousand meters running it through thick grass on the highest speed for the blade and the highest speed for the self propulsion, which is pretty damn good. I'm certainly happy with that. catcher here as you can see it fires in there nicely it's all pushed right to the back which is good and if we take the catcher off one moment the catcher hooks on easily with a couple of hooks over the bars at the top here and the flap gets held up what I mean by that is if you are mowing without the catcher or the side shoots or anything, you can just mow like this and it holds out from the back. So you've got a big opening at the bottom here, about two inches wide all the way along the bottom. And that allows the grass to just fall out the back. And that's what we were doing in most of the shots you will have seen in the video so far. Because, yeah, if you're doing long stuff, it can just fall out the back and you don't have to keep emptying a catcher. But the catcher works good and well.
I've got a light here for each battery that just lights up red, starts flashing when the battery gets low on either side. Now, even though this takes two batteries, you only need one in it to make it work. That's right, it's only a 40 volt tool, so you don't need a pair of 8 amp hour batteries in it. But how's this? Is this going to impress you? All the cutting you've seen thus far in this video has been done on this one charged set of batteries. We've got one down to one bar, the other one's still got two bars. So everything you've seen, all that long stuff, a whole lot, up until now in the video, has all been on this one set of batteries. One charge. It's pretty good, eh? If I had to pick only one, I would go with the LM001G, the 480 volt model, just because it's got that faster RPM and can fire the grass out the back just a bit quicker, a little less likely to get blocked, and it's a bit smaller and easier to handle. But they are both great mowers. So there you have it, the new 40 volt mowers that you guys have been waiting a long time for and asking me about a lot. Let me know down below if that satisfies what you want and when you'll be going to get one. If you're after one, also take a look down in the description. You'll find some links to Trady Republic where you can pick them up in New Zealand. And if I find any links for you overseas fellas, I'll chuck that down there as well. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you on another one next week. Cheers.